Of the three clips you just saw, two were shot with a real camera, in the real world. One was generated by artificial intelligence. Can you guess which one is the AI? Got your guess? Well, let me tell you something. All three of them were made with AI. And today, I'm going to show you how to create videos of this exact quality with the tool that everyone is talking about, Sora 2. For those who don't know, Sora 2 is the new video generation model from OpenAI. It's a major leap forward, capable of creating videos with striking realism, stronger physical consistency, and a level of multi-shot coherence that was unrealistic just a few months ago. It generates short scenes with video and audio together, dialogue, sound effects, and ambience in a single pass. And it includes a feature called Cameos that lets you put yourself into your videos with granular controls over who can use your likeness. Think of it as going from silent prototypes to clips that are actually ready to publish. But before we start, this is something you'll want to see. What if you could take any photo, even one of yourself, and make it sing perfectly in just a few minutes? Just look at this. Future is now. This is Lemon Slice, an AI avatar platform that specializes in one thing and does it incredibly well, creating ultra-realistic lip-sync and singing animations. The workflow is super simple. You just upload an image, add an audio file, let's try it with some singing, and hit generate. But its real power is in the lip sync. You can import your own voiceover and it matches the mouth movements perfectly. This is Lemon Slice, a powerful AI avatar platform. This is amazing for music content, podcasts, or faceless channels. And it's not just for single avatars. You can even create scenes with multiple characters talking to each other. The final results are clean, high resolution, and ready to export for your projects. Did you see that? I can't believe it. Did you see that? I can't believe it. This segment was sponsored by Lemon Slice, and honestly, for any kind of music or detailed lip sync work, this is one of the best tools I've tried. You can test it out for yourself. I've put the direct link for you in the description and in the pinned comment below. One quick note before we dive in. The direct link to the Sora platform, the link to OpenAI's official channels, and a bonus PDF for this audience with extra tools and tips we don't post on YouTube are organized in our Malva AI Discord. Link in the description so you have everything in one place. But as you probably know, getting access to Sora 2 is still limited. You need an invitation, and many people don't have one yet. That creates a perfect environment for scams and misinformation. In this video, I'm giving you the definitive guide to staying safe, avoiding traps, and using official paths to get in, so you don't risk your money or your account. Before we talk about how to use Sora 2, there's one rule that matters more than anything else. This single rule can save you a lot of headaches and real money. Do not pay for Sora 2 invite codes. Ever. I'm going to repeat that. Do not, under any circumstances, pay for an invitation code. Right now, there are fake accounts on social platforms and in unofficial groups promising instant access. They're scams. They'll take your money and you'll get a fake code, a dead link, or nothing at all. And this isn't just my opinion. OpenAI enforces its terms of service, and accounts involved in selling, buying, or trading codes can face action. Buying a code isn't just a risk to your wallet. It's a risk to your entire account. If anyone asks you for money for a Sora 2 code, that's your red flag. Codes are free. So how do you get in legitimately? Use official channels, follow OpenAI's announcements, and verified communities where people who already have access can share their four official invites with others. Be patient, ignore anyone asking for money, and stick to sources you trust. In our Malta AI Discord community, we will enable a dedicated channel where members can post the invite codes they legitimately receive. If you get your code from there, please come back and share your own four invites in the same channel so four more people can get in, and then each of them can invite four more, creating a simple, transparent network. No sales, no trading, no DMs for cash, and always within the platform's rules. Before you use your invite code, there's one crucial step you can't skip. 
Sora 2 is currently only available in the US and Canada, so you need to turn on a VPN set to one of those locations before entering your code. If you activate the code without the VPN, you'll get blocked and lose the code permanently. To avoid issues, use a reliable VPN. There are many out there, but the one I personally trust the most for security, speed, and compatibility is NordVPN. It works flawlessly with Sora 2. You'll find the link in the description. All right, you're in. Welcome to Sora 2. The first thing you'll notice is that it doesn't feel like a typical creative tool. It feels like a social platform. There's a vertical, swipeable feed of community creations that's fantastic for inspiration. You have your own profile with your creations and drafts. And you have the prompt bar. This is where the magic happens. You write what you want, optionally specify orientation, and Sora 2 generates a short scene with audio in one go. The workflow is fast. Prompt, review, and iterate. You don't need a separate sound library to make it feel alive. The ambience, effects, and short lines of dialogue can come out together with the video. Now let's get to the masterclass. The key to unlocking Sora 2's power isn't just what you ask it to create, but how you ask. Don't just say a dog running. Think like a director. Describe the scene, the lighting, the camera movement, and the emotion. Tell Sora 2 four things. What happens, clear action, how we see it, lens, framing, camera motion, what we hear, voiceover, sound effects, ambience, and the rhythm, one clean move or a short sequence of beats. Keep cast small, define the camera, specify the sound, and iterate with focused instructions. For this section, the complete copy-paste prompts we use on this channel are posted once in our Discord, so you can grab them in full. Here I'll read the essence and explain why they work. Let's start with our first example, for viral micro-cinematic. The goal here is a short, hypnotic, high-end beat that stops the scroll. We want high energy inside a very tight frame and a single visual idea the model can nail. I'm asking for a dynamic close-up of a single drop of rain hitting a puddle in a neon-lit street, with a quick macro insert of the crown-shaped splash. The secret is macro language, anchoring the shot to one specific micro-event the AI can dramatize. That focus turns a tiny moment into a cinematic beat that feels expensive. The sound needs to be simple and precise. City ambience, soft footsteps in the distance, the micro-splash. This reads as crafted, not generic. And brands that want a premium, high-tech aesthetic can use it as a visual signature. Next, a more complex example for product commercials. The goal isn't just to show a product. It's to sell a lifestyle and a value proposition in one breath. We build a scene that tells a story about the product. I'm prompting a cinematic shot of an adventurer's hand, wearing a rugged dive watch resting on an old map in a misty jungle, with macro details on the bezel and water droplets. What makes this work is the storytelling triad. Subject, the watch, character, the implied adventurer, and environment, the jungle textures. Words like weathered, strong, and misty don't just describe, they direct the emotion and the texture of the scene. A single, clean line of voiceover, built for depth, made to last, gives purpose and ties image to message. Subtle whooshes at the cut point sell the rhythm without overwhelming the VO. Now, cinematic storytelling. If you want to create short films or narrative content, you need a clear emotion and atmosphere. Here, I'm asking for a melancholic wide shot, a lone ancient robot sitting on a cliff, overlooking a deserted, overgrown city as two suns set on the horizon. The key is emotion words, melancholic, lone, overgrown. They steer the model toward a mood, not just objects, so the result feels like the opening shot of a story rather than a random image. For sound, we keep a low wind and distant birds, no clutter. One slow, steady camera move holds the seriousness and avoids the wobble you sometimes get with chaotic directions. And then, pure viral paradox. Sometimes you just need something weird and unforgettable. Combine ideas that don't belong together in a way that's charming instead of gross. 
For this one, I'm prompting an ultra-realistic shot of a majestic elephant, wearing a tiny top hat, skillfully DJing at a vibrant music festival. It's a visual paradox. The more unexpected yet coherent the combination, the more likely it is to be shared. The trick is to specify the feel. Energetic crowd murmur, a few distinct fader clicks, bass pulse lightly present, and the elephant's movements synced to the idea of beat matching. Paradox plus polish is what makes this go viral. Now, let's talk about one of Sora 2's most discussed features. Cameos. This lets you put yourself into a video. On iOS, you record a short clip of your face and voice to set up your cameo, and you control who can use it only you, approved people, or everyone. You can revoke permissions at any time and request removal of videos, even drafts that use your cameo. Today, I'm not demoing a real cameo because I'm not on iOS, but the key is consent and control. Use your own Cameo or public Cameos that are explicitly available in the app. Do not impersonate public figures or use someone else's likeness without permission. Not only can that be blocked by policies, it's also the fastest way to get your content taken down and your account flagged. If you're going to use Cameos for brand content, treat them like any other talent agreement. Get explicit consent and be clear about where the clip is going to live. Next up is Remix. This is the fastest way to move from good to usable. If you see a video in the feed with a style or composition you like, you don't have to start from scratch. Hit Remix and give one focused instruction. Keep the same camera movement, but swap the subject. Keep the visuals, but replace the voiceover. Tighten the pacing by 10%. Increase ambiance and reduce reverb. Or stabilize the handheld feel slightly. Iterate one change at a time. The reason this works so well is that it preserves everything that already landed. Framing, lighting, motion, and asks Sora 2 to alter just one dimension. That's how you converge quickly on a result that feels intentional. Here's the pro-level concept that explains why Sora 2 often feels different. World understanding. It doesn't just arrange pixels, it models cause and effect well enough to handle many physical interactions plausibly. That's why complex actions can just work. Think of a snowmobile carving through fresh powder. It doesn't just move, it throws a plume. That plume lingers and casts a soft shadow. The track compresses the snow realistically. The rider's weight shift changes the arc. Because Sora 2 captures these relationships, you can ask for richer interactions, reflections, small physical details, and get something that holds up on a quick watch. That doesn't mean it's perfect, but it means you can be more ambitious with your prompts than you could a year ago. With all that said, there are real limits. Crowded scenes with lots of people speaking at once, chaotic collisions, and ultra-fast camera moves can still break. You'll see odd artifacts, continuity slips, or audio that doesn't match your intention. The fix is strategic restraint. Keep casts small, define the camera and the sound precisely, and iterate with focused remix instructions. If you need three things to change, change them one by one. If lip sync drifts, replace just the VO. If the camera wobbles, keep the exact visuals and ask for mild stabilization. If the action feels too slow, tighten the cut rhythm slightly and keep everything else. This is the difference between burning an hour and shipping a usable 10-second clip. To make this concrete, here are the kinds of prompts that consistently work. For a micro-cinematic, golden hour street with wet asphalt, gentle handheld dolly in, a single drop hits a puddle, creating a crown-shaped splash. Natural city ambiance with a distant scooter and soft footsteps. Quick macro insert of the splash. 16 by 9, crisp optics, subtle motion blur. For a product spot, high-key tabletop. Rugged dive watch on a textured stone slab. Macro details on bezel and water droplets. Clean voiceover. Built for depth, 
made to last. Subtle whooshes aligned to three cuts. 16 to 9, steady camera. For a narrative beat, melancholic wide shot. A lone, weathered robot sits on a cliff overlooking a deserted, overgrown city. Two suns set on the horizon. Low wind and distant birds. Slow, steady camera. 16 by 9. For pure viral paradox, ultra-realistic elephant with a tiny top hat DJing at a vibrant music festival. Gentle crowd murmur. Distinct fader clicks. Light bass pulse matching trunk movements. 916. Remember, the complete copy-paste versions of these prompts are available once in our Discord for easy reference. Let's also be clear about safety and integrity. Every Sora 2 export includes a visible watermark and provenance metadata. Don't remove them. Respect intellectual property and likeness rights. Don't upload faces you don't have permission to use. Don't try to buy access or work around regional restrictions. If you want this ecosystem to stick around and improve, the best thing you can do is use it responsibly and help others do the same. So, there you have it. The complete, safe guide to understanding and mastering Sora 2 today. You've learned how to avoid scams, how to use official paths to get an invite, and how to get real results with director-style prompts, remix, and a practical understanding of what the model does well. You've also seen where it still breaks, and how to work around that without wasting time. But Sora 2 isn't just a tool. It's also a social platform. That opens a bigger conversation. On one hand, it democratizes creativity and fuels a wave of original clips and memes. On the other, it raises questions about deepfakes, moderation, creator consent, and how much time we spend inside AI-driven feeds. The real story isn't only about the technology. It's about how we choose to use it together. That's what we're building in the Melva AI community. A place to explore these tools, share knowledge, and talk about impact, so we can use them responsibly and powerfully. If this guide helped and you want more deep dives, like Sora 2 Pro and the API when they launch, consider supporting the channel with a like, a sub, and a comment. And I want to hear from you. Do you see Sora 2 as the future of social video or a risky experiment? Tell me in the comments, and tell me which game or AI tool we should investigate next. Thanks for watching.